Uh, a republic comes from the Latin, comes from two Latin words, res publica, res thing, publica, public, the public thing, the law. Uh, democracy comes from the Greek, two Greek words, demos and kratian. Demos, uh, people, kratian, to rule, the people to rule. So what you've got is the difference between a rule of law and the rule of what could become a mob. Uh, the founding fathers of our country were explicit in their condemnations of democracy. They said, we want limited government under law. And that's what we call a republic. They did not want uh, uh, clever people to generate uh, an attitude amongst the m mass of uh, voters or whatever to go for this or go for that with no restrictions. Uh, democracy always ends up as mob rule. And I love to quote James Madison. Uh, he's the father of the Constitution. And James Madison said, democracies have ever been spectacles of turbulence and contention, have ever been found incompatible with the rights of free people, and in general are as short in their lives as they are violent in their deaths. That's James Madison, the father of the Constitution. And so you can imagine, uh, every time I hear our president or our senators or congressmen or our newspaper and the media referring to our democracy, I bristle. It's not a democracy. It's not supposed to be a democracy. It was never conceived to be a democracy, but it's becoming a democracy. And the appeals to the mob for this, for that, for entitlements, for whatever, is a, a, an outgrowth of the turn away from the limited government that you have in a republic to the unlimited government that you'll get in a democracy. And of course, once you get to the democracy, then you end up with tyranny. The Romans had a republic, and they had the 12 tables of the Roman law. I always like to say they etched them in stone and they didn't give anybody else a chisel, right? So the, the, the Roman Republic thrived. Uh, Rome reached out to the world. There were places where, in that period of history, there were some peoples that said, come and conquer us. We want to taste your kind of freedom, the freedom that comes with a republic. Well, pretty soon in Rome, uh, you got some clever politicians that started with agriculture subsidies and then welfare benefits and uh, housing benefits and so on. And, and pretty soon the Roman Republic was destroyed and they went to the, uh, uh, the, the, the Caesars, the uh, Roman Empire, and it lasted for a while longer, but then it collapsed as, as would happen. Uh, as far as our country, I don't know that there's ever been a better real republic in the history of mankind, even better than what Rome had. But our founding fathers were, were historians, and they had studied what happened in Rome, and they studied what happened in Greece. They knew the difference, and so they chose the republic. Uh, we pledge allegiance to the flag and to the republic for which it stands, and most people say, yeah, and, that, and isn't it wonderful we live in a democracy? Uh, uh, come on, will you? What about the battle hymn of the republic? You know? uh, the, the, the words are important, and the concepts involved in the difference between a republic and a democracy are really essential to understanding what liberty is all about, what our founding fathers gave us in the Constitution, a republic, not a democracy, in fact, the John Birch Society has always had a slogan saying, this is a republic, not a democracy. Let's keep it that way. Right? But we certainly are racing toward a complete and total democracy, which will be followed by tyranny because it doesn't work. And the people will demand that the government take over. Uh, we don't want to see that happen.